Hello, guys. What's up? How are you today? Thank you so much for being on time, Jesse and Hoen. You are always on time, guys. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. Hi. I was, I was very busy when I heard you. I That's okay. My... No problem. Absolutely. That's fine. Now, guys. Excellent. How was your day? I it was very busy today. I had um I had to cover some hours today as well, so I ended up working up until seven uh mm -hmm. today hasta las siete, so acabo de salir de trabajar just a while ago. But it was good. Mm -hmm. I had some very nice clients today. Y ya mañana okay. Friday. Yay. Awesome. Okay. So, Claudia, how pretty is your hair today? Yes. Thank you. Wow. Amazing. You look so pretty today. You look so pretty every day, but like your hair looks so nice today. Wow. Thank you. Of course. Excellent. She looks like very, very good. Yeah, you mm -hmm. do. Excellent. Has other other look. <laughs> yeah, a different look you thought you would. Fine. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay, guys. So, todos los buenos ánimos for today's class. We are going to finish doing the exercise that we couldn't finish yesterday. And then, after that, we are going to review how to do evaluations and comparisons with adjectives and nouns. But before we do that, para no gastar más tiempo, eh, comenzaré a ponernos en grupos. Let's see, no, because we are 10 people right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, let's see. It is 903. Let's see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of what would be best. Si sería best. Um, that is the topics first and then volver a los grupos to finish the exercise or mm -mm -mm, the other way around o al revés. What do you think? ¿Qué creen mejor? ¿Hacer los contents ahorita y después volver a los grupos? ¿O hacer los grupos ahorita and then do the contents? And because we need yeah, to right. have two things. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Okay. Excellent. Whatever they want. Excellent. What about the rest? What do you think? First the group and then the content. I don't know if I've seen that. All right. What about the rest? Vamos un voto. One and one. One versus one. What about the rest? Like a subasta, who gives more? <laughs> yeah, yeah. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Okay, don't be shy. Tell me. Good night, Miss. Good night, Hi. everyone. Good night. How Hello. Are you? Fine, thank you. Miss, yes. I met a friend yesterday. Yeah, I you think, did? Yes. I think that with yesterday groups. Ah, awesome. Okay, today we're going to, we should be doing the same groups. But I only see 11 people, though. And we were, ayer estamos, let's see, if I'm not, ayer estamos, if I'm not mistaken, about like 20, 25 people. So who was your friend? Who, 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 who was your friend? Who's your new friend? In the group? The question is in the group? Yeah, um, yeah, because he was saying that he made a friend. I I have two, um, Lester, and I don't remember the name. 
No she looks problem. like beautiful. I don't know. In my group, and Samuel, mm -hmm. and I, I don't remember. I see Samuel Maritza was with you as well. Maritza, yes, yes. Excellent. Yes, and I do see que el otro grupo era Carlos, Claudia, Lisette, Gaby, Joel, Silvia, and William, Lydia, Marcela, y Sofía, Katia, Lester, y Jesse. Uh, for some reason, Ariel was alone in a group. I don't know why. And Jose, Catherine, and Beatriz. And then your group, Edgardo, Maritza, and Samuel. All right, so we are 14 people, guys. We are missing some people. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to give you the contents para que así avancemos con eso. Y si en eso se unen los demás, then we're going to continue working on the groups. Porque I will be doing that evaluation de esas sentences, de esas questions, sí, por grupos. O sea, no las vamos a hacer aquí en el main room. So let's do that. Okay. So let's start by reviewing evaluations and comparisons. Let me share my screen. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. All right, guys. So we have evaluations and comparisons. All right. We have the same information, but a different examples. Let's go ahead y para comenzar, leamos los ejemplos. Can I please have Jesse read the first one, this one? Uh, evaluation and comparison. comparison. Evaluation in, with adjectives. Apartments aren't built enough for family. Apartments are too small for pets. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, continue. No, that's, that's it. Thank you so much, Jesse. Yes. See, okay. evaluations with adjectives. Esas son ejemplos de evaluation using adjectives. Ya vimos que we use adjectives to describe things, right? To describe nouns. Can I please have <coughs> Claudia read evaluations with nouns? Apartments don't have enough parking space. The house costs too much money. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and read comparisons with adjectives, Joel. House aren't as convenient as apartment. House are used as a convenient as apartment. Thank you, Joel. Excellent. Now, can I please have Edgardo read comparisons with nouns? Apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Correct. Excellent. Love the pronunciation, Edgardo. Love it. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Excellent. So, let's see. ¿Cuál es la principal diferencia que vemos, guys? Between evaluations y comparisons. ¿Cuál es la principal diferencia que vemos? What do you think that is? The, the negative, the okay. negative form aren't big enough for family. Correct, okay. Evaluation so with adjectives. Mm. With the verb be. Perfect. Let's see. I'm sorry. So let's say creando poner este espacio. The relations don't have as us. Correct. Excellent. Sí, porque negativos tenemos aquí. Aquí tenemos un negativo también. Comparisons también tienen negativo. Aren't. Right? La diferencia principal que vemos es. ¿Y qué nos quiere decir este as? 
qué está comparando dos cosas, right? Las evaluations, esa es la principal diferencia. When we're doing evaluations, we are, valga la redundancia, evaluating one thing. We are making, oops, making a judgment or evaluation one thing, one. Con las comparisons, como su nombre lo dice, estamos comparando. Y para poder comparar, tenemos que comparar una cosa con otra, right? Siempre. So, we evaluate between two things. Between, and we use as. We use Between this shirt and that shirt, between this pair of shoes and this pair of shoes, between these headphones and those headphones. Y yo puedo hacer las evaluaciones de las cualidades de esas cosas. For example, this sweater fits me better, me queda mejor. This sweater fits me better than the other one. Veamos como dicen los ejemplos. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. No son tan convenientes como los apartamentos. También podemos decir que son igualmente de buenas, o igualmente buenas o igualmente malas, como en el siguiente. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. Son igual de convenientes que los apartamentos. Just as convenient. Esas... Eh, Usando adjectives, convenient. Convenient es un adjetivo, está describiendo que la casa es conveniente. Y si decimos con nouns, apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Apartments don't have as, many, as much privacy as houses. Ahí ya entramos en las diferencias de cuando vamos a usar adjectives y cuando vamos a usar nouns. Veamos esto. Let's put up the infamous white word. So let's see. Vamos a ver primero comparisons aquí. When using comparisons, podemos usar, ¿qué podemos usar? Adjectives y ¿qué más? No. What else? Nouns, correct. We can use adjectives and nouns. So when we are using adjectives, cuando usamos adjectives, algo es, right? Something is an adjective. Something is red, something's pretty, something's expensive. So we use the verb to be. Ya dijimos que para usar comparisons, we are evaluating between, esto significa between, para no escribir tanto, two things. For example, my house is just as just, bueno, vamos a poner aquí primero. ¿Qué son algunas cosas que tenemos que ocupar siempre? As. No. Uh -huh. More. O. Just. Just as. Or less. Estas son algunas cosas que podemos ocupar siempre. O less than. Right? More than. Y aquí va el... Adjective.
¿Cómo así? ¿Cómo se usa esto? Veamos un ejemplo de cada uno. Houses are more convenient than apartments. Y veamos qué es lo que decía el ejemplo. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments or are just as convenient as apartment. You see? Just as. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses are less convenient than apartments. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. También podemos decir, oops, yes, houses are more convenient than apartments. Aquí tenemos as convenient as apartments, more convenient than apartments, just as convenient as apartments, and less convenient than apartments, right? Usando adjectives. Estas son las cuatro maneras que podemos hacer estas comparisons. Ahora, si usamos nouns, you have something. Porque nouns, los nouns nos referimos nombres, Cosas, personas, animales, right? Nombres. So, we are going to use the verb have. Siempre. Veamos el ejemplo. Apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Have. Mm -hmm. whiteboard. Siempre vamos a usar as y podemos usar lo que queramos complementar, right? As many rooms, as much space. Vamos a usar descriptive words. Aquí no tenemos un ejemplo específico, pero vamos a ver. Veamos. Recuerden que siempre estamos en comparisons, entonces siempre tiene que ser entre dos cosas. For example, my, uh, for example, dogs. Mm -mm, no, cats have more hair than dogs. Cats, otra manera de decirlo, have as, con, usando as, much hair as dogs. My house has as many rooms as yours. My house does not or doesn't have as much space as yours, or as his, por poner otro ejemplo. My heels or my shoes aren't, I'm sorry, don't have as much, what? Height, tienen tan alto, tanta altura, as hers. Right? 
Entonces, cuando estamos hablando de nouns, usamos have y usando adjectives usamos the verb to be. ¿Por qué? Porque you are an adjective or something is an adjective. Something's pretty, something's tall, something's small, something's big, something's convenient, something's beautiful. Pero las cosas, you have them. O personas, you have them. So cats have more hair. You have hair. I have more hair than Joel. Uh, let's see. Um, he has more money than she does. What else? My house has as many rooms as yours. La misma cantidad. En ambos casos son comparaciones entre dos cosas, pero uno usando adjectives y otro usando nouns. ¿Sí? Any questions on how to make this comparison? Or is everything clear? So, let me clear, or si no, díganme, I have a question. Clear, teacher. Miss. Miss. Yes? Miss, I have a question. Yes? Eh, el better cabe aquí, en esta comparación, en esto de comparación. Sí. Oh. sí, you can use that. Better is an adjective, right? Something's better than. Okay. Lo Thank podemos you. usar, of course, lo podemos usar de la siguiente manera. His house is better than mine. O, si queremos decir que es igual de buena la casa de él que la mía, his house, ya no vamos a usar better, es el comparativo de good. Something's good, vea, si algo es, no vamos a decir more good, sino que better. O no es más bueno, vea, sino es mejor. So, uh, más mejor. Uh, so, um, correct. So, vamos a decir, his house is as good as mine. ¿Sí? Esta de hecho es la misma palabra. Good y better es la misma palabra. Si ustedes quisieran que les mandara un cuadro, no sé si ya les mandé. I'm not sure. De los comparativos. De los, compara de los adjetivos irregulares. No, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, I will. Excellent. Espérenme. Lo voy a anotar. Quiero ver. Tan, tan, tan. Yes, porque that's very important. Eso es súper importante que lo sepan los um, los comparatives. Todos los comparatives son Adjetivos, guys. Todos son adjetivos, pero hay adjetivos regulares y hay adjetivos irregulares. Adjetivos a los que solo se les agrega er, for example, pretty. Les quitamos las últimas letras, pretty. Y decimos prettier, right? Yes. Prettier. Pero adjetivos como good lo transformamos en better. Y es la misma es. palabra, o sea, nos referimos a lo mismo. ¿Qué más? Veamos, otro adjetivo irregular es beautiful. Los adjetivos largos usualmente no se les agrega nada ni se cambian, sino que se les agrega more. A esto sí se les agrega more. More beautiful. More expensive. Se los voy a mandar. Adjective irregular. Si lo pongo en la compu se me va a olvidar. So, I wrote it down. Ok. Tenemos esos tres tipos de adjectives. Los que solo cambiamos aquí por I, E, R o solo E, R. Y los que agregamos more, more beautiful. Y los que cambiamos completamente. Good, better. Vamos a otro ejemplo. Les voy a buscar otro ejemplo. Let's see. Tenía todo esto, regular adjectives. Here we go. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Save. 
Se los voy a mostrar quickly. Porque si sí, esto les puede servir mucho, guys. Here we go. Ok. Aquí tenemos otros. Ok. Aquí hay un ejemplo. Este es un adjetivo regular. Old. Solo agregamos ER. Older. Y para su superlativo, que después lo vamos a ver, solo agregamos EST. Oldest. El más viejo. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Este es irregular. Vamos a ponerles un corazoncito. Este es irregular. Este es irregular. Este es irregular. Este es irregular. Well y good. Igual el mismo comparative. Eh, este es irregular. Este es irregular. All right. Este es regular. Far. Su comparative es further. Si algo está lejos, si algo está far, pero algo está más lejos que el otro. My house is further from yours than yours. Bad, worse. Mm, let's see. My car is in a worse state than yours. Mi carro está en un peor estado que el tuyo. My, my car is in a worse state than yours. My car has less damage than yours. Tiene menos, right? It's less damage. Como pueden ver, todos son adjectives, pero es su versión comparativa y superlativa. Y aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos. Lo que yo les voy a mandar va a ser una lista más extensa para que los sepan, los estudien. All right. Dicho yes. eso... Yeah. Teacher, en, en, puede volver a poner la pantalla anterior, por favor. There you go. En el ejemplo de far, donde dice Samuel had no further question, ¿qué significa? Oh, ok, bye. El far también lo podemos usar no solo como lejos de distancia, sino como un además. Entonces, Samuel had no further questions. No tenía preguntas adicionales o ya no tenía más preguntas. Ah, ok. Gracias. Excellent. Any other questions, guys? Mi, yo le iba a decir que el link lo estuve esperando. <ríe> I'm link sorry. Oh, my God. Es más, ahorita se los voy a mandar. Dice, este, que... Can you give me an example about the far? Yes. Okay. So far. For example, usando far or further? Further is so far because I heard those words in different conversations. Ah, yes. Okay, so what happens with that is que far lo podemos ocupar como para decir... Uh, si yo ahorita les pregunto, do you have any questions? Ustedes me pueden decir, nothing so far. O sea, nada hasta ahorita, ¿verdad? O nada hasta ahora. Como no solo de distancia, sino como para decir ah, hasta ahorita, ¿verdad? O ahora. Por lo tanto, further. Yo les puedo decir, do you have further questions? Tienen más preguntas, tienen más preguntas a continuación. Uh -huh. Y también se puede usar para distancia. The park is very far away. Está muy lejos. Lejos. And my house is further away uh, from the park than yours. Mi casa está más lejos del parque que la tuya. Esas son las okay. dos maneras en que se puede ocupar. Ah, ok. Thank you. Of course. All right, guys. El link para los... El del counting noun, count nouns, right? Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, miss. Awesome. Ok, so, oops, what am I sharing? Se los voy a poner justo aquí, se los voy a mandar a WhatsApp, I promise, hoy sí. Pero se los voy a poner aquí por cualquier cosa. Para quien lo pueda agarrar de aquí, ahí está, en el chat de Zoom. All right, so, moving on. Now let's see evaluations, ok? Mm -mm -mm. Share my screen. Here we go. Boom. 
Evaluation. Ya vimos los examples. Aren't big enough for families. Are too small for pets. Apartments, apartments. Estamos hablando de una cosa. Right? No estamos comparando dos cosas, sino que solo estamos juzgando o hablando o evaluando una sola cosa. En este caso, solo los apartments. Apartments aren't big enough for families. No lo estamos comparando con nada más, sino solo haciendo un statement que no son lo suficientemente grandes para families. Ahora, eh, um, ustedes saben que a mí no me gusta dar así solo la la, 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 la fórmula, right? So, let's go back to... Um, to our whiteboard. Igual que con las comparisons, con los comparisons, las evaluations tienen dos maneras diferentes de verse, dependiendo si lo estamos ocupando con adjectives o con nouns. Evaluation. Adjectives. And nouns. Cuando estamos hablando de evaluations, estamos hablando de just one thing. Y estamos diciendo qué tanto de una cosa le falta, qué tanto de una cosa tiene. Estamos dando esa característica, right? So, same thing, guys. Si vamos a usar adjectives, vamos a usar verb to be. Si vamos a usar adjectives, vamos a usar verb to be. Aren't, are. Y si usamos nouns, vamos a usar have. O otro verbo, pero usando también, ups, este no. Estas palabras. ¿Qué son estas palabras? ¿Qué es enough, too, too much? ¿Qué es eso? Quantifiers. Quantifiers, correct. O adverbios de cantidad, right? Quantifiers, correct. So for both, vamos a usar quantifiers. Les vamos a poner así, quantifiers for both. Both, para ambos, both. Vamos a poner en medio. Nuevamente, adjectives, verb to be. Other verbs. O have, have u other verbs. Lo más común es have, pero se pueden usar other verbs as well. Veamos un ejemplo. Let's see. Mm. Dogs uh, are, let's see, dogs are very friendly animals. Dogs, let's see, veamos que teníamos que hacer too much y Two, okay, enough. Now assist. Dogs are, pongamoslo así. Three dogs are enough work for a family. Y si usamos the nouns, siempre hablando de dogs, the dog, 
does doesn't have enough food. No tiene suficiente comida. Right? Veamos otro ejemplo con adjectives. ¿Qué adjective podríamos usar, guys? Let's see, big. Computers. No, al revés. Cell phones aren't as, uh, aren't, uh, let's see, big enough. On the table. Sí, pero remember que estamos usando los quantifiers. Is that too much? Oh. Yeah. Cell phones aren't big enough to work on. Let's see what else. Um, The food is too hot, right? Es si pues una simple evaluation. The food is too hot. We have oh, no. It says we have. We are too busy, right? Using verb to be. Using nouns, veamos. We have too much work. There isn't. No, esto está al revés. Lo estoy poniendo. There isn't enough food. Right? They don't have enough food. They, uh, they aren't running fast enough. También podemos usar enough al final. Okay. Let's see, ¿qué otro verb? The shoes, for example, cost too much money. The homework takes too much time. Right? Does this? Podemos usar adjectives y vamos a usar siempre el verb to be. Y cuando usemos nouns, podemos usar otros verbos. Podemos usar have, podemos usar shoe, podemos usar cost, uh, takes, any verb, right? Si vamos a hacer una negación, ahí sí vamos a usar don't have, don't cost, uh, doesn't take, right? Y para adjectives. Vamos a usar siempre el verb to be. Y siempre con los quantifiers. Too much work, too much time, uh, too many. A ver, podemos usar un ejemplo con too many. He has too many books, por ejemplo. Right? Sí. Se comprende que siempre, co tanto para comparisons y para evaluations, vamos a usar siempre verb to be para adjectives y have para nouns u other verbs. Other verbs cuando sean evaluation. ¿Sí? Any questions about this specifically? Sobre evaluations. Lo que acaba de decir ahorita de que en nouns tiene que llevar have o otros, uh, no recuerdo qué fue lo que dijo otros. Sí, no otros sé. verbos, o sea, podemos en evaluation sí podemos usar otros verbos. Para comparison siempre vamos a usar have. Uh, it has, siempre, siempre. Sí, porque estamos haciendo la comparación. 
Bueno, podríamos usar otros verbos, pero usualmente como para comparar dos cosas vamos a usar have. Pero sí podemos hacer una comparación como la siguiente. Those shoes cost uh, as much as mine. Right? Y esta es una comparison usando otro verbo. Pero usualmente casi siempre se va a usar have. Ok. Thanks. Pero sí se puede. No, no es que sea un error, right? Nouns, have, y otros verbos. Y adjectives, verb to be. Any other questions, guys? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Or is it clear? Y todas las puedo pasar al pasado. Yes. Todas se pueden pasar al pasado. Por ejemplo... There isn't enough food. ¿Cómo sería en el pasado? ¿Cuál es el pasado de is? Was. Correct. There was enough food. Correct. Perfect. We are too busy. ¿Cómo sería el pasado? We were too busy. Correct. Sin miedo. Perfect. The food is too hot. Was. Mm -hmm. Too hot. Excellent. Esta oración de los cell phones podríamos decir que es mentira, right? Porque ahora hacen unos celulares super grandes. So, cell phones weren't big enough to work on back then. Pero ahora sí. But they are now, right? Todos todo los notes, las, los de Samsung, Samsung Notes, todos son súper grandes. Um, sí, todos se pueden decir en el pasado, correcto. Solo tenemos que cambiar el verbo correspondiente, que es el verbo principal en la oración, right? Siempre verb to be o, digamos, for example, en estos que es, el verbo principal es doesn't. The dog, ¿cuál es el pasado de does? Didn't. Correct. The dog didn't have enough food. Enough, etc. Ya no me cabe. Enough food. En el caso de los comparativos, también solamente se le cambiaría el verbo. Uh -huh. Veamos el ejemplo. Volvemos aquí, porque como esas ya las quité, pero volvamos aquí. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. ¿Cómo sería si el pasado, el pasado de aren't? Houses weren't as convenient. Correct. Houses weren't as convenient as apartments. Y si decimos houses are just as convenient, ¿cómo sería si en el pasado? Houses were just as convenient. Correct. Excellent. Apartments don't have as much privacy como sería en el pasado. Perfect. Correct. Yes. I am so proud. Yes. Apartments didn't have as much privacy as houses. Y así. Todo lo que podamos decir en el presente, lo podemos decir en el pasado, lo podemos decir en el futuro, lo podemos decir de todas las maneras. Es un buen ejercicio um, taking one sentence en cualquier tiempo y pasarlo to the past, to the future, para practicarlo. All right, guys. So, do we understand evaluations and comparisons? Yes, I understand. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Entonces, uy, ok. Vamos a cerrar esto. Si no, nos lo van a bañar. Ok. So, guys, tomorrow, no nos vamos todavía, vamos a hacer los groups, ok. But, um, tomorrow, we are going to review expressing wishes, how to express what you want. Y vamos a hacer el review del midterm test. Así que nos falten mañana. All right. Hoy sí. Vamos a hacer los groups para finish our activity en estos últimos minutitos. Assign manually, create. Um, 
Y at a room, at a room, at a room, éramos seis rooms, siete rooms, if I'm not mistaken. A sign. Vamos a ver. Estaba Edgardo con Samuel and Maritza. Excellent. Then we had, let's see, Carlos. Who else was there? Lisette. Let's see if Lisette is here. Yes. And Claudia. Now we also had, ya ven como soy de organizada, yo vean, llega. Lidia, Marcela, and Sofía. Lidia. Stop. Lidia. Mm -mm -mm. Marcela and Sofía. Yeah, perfect. And there also was Katia Lester and Jesse. Let's see if Katia is here. Yes, Katia. Let's see, Lester is not here today. And Jesse, where is Jesse? Jesse disappeared. Okay, no problem. John Paris. Uh, we also have Jose, Catherine, and Beatriz. Jose, Catherine, and Beatriz. There you go. Then room number five. Edgardo ya lo puse. Uy. Carlos, Claudia, Lisette, Gaby, Joel, Silvia, y William. Gaby, Joel, Silvia, y William. Perfect. And let's see who else. Lidia, ya lo puse. Lester, Ariel, José. ¿Qué, ¿Qué grupo me falta entonces? Hay personas que no estaban ayer entonces. Ok, no problem. Ahorita vemos eso inmediata mismo. Vamos a hacer un grupo aquí. With these four guys, and we are going to send Katia over to the girls. Let's go, guys, to the breakup rooms. Y ya llego. We're going to be doing the evaluation of the activity. Very quickly, in estos últimos 10 minutes, let's click on join breakup room. Hello, hello, how are you? How are you? Are you done how are you? with hello. the questions, guys? Fine. I'm fine. Yes. Excellent, yes. I speak in Spanish, okay? <clears throat> okay. Eh, dijo de que las preguntas teníamos que decir primero que estaban en, ¿cómo se llama? Si estaban en indirecto, decir. Directo. Y luego decir, pasarla al, al otro. Situación. Ah, pasarla al contrario, correct. Uh -huh. yes. Ah, pues, ok. Perfect. All clear. Excellent. Ok, guys. So, hay un botoncito que dice ask for help. Si terminan, call me, ok? Ok. Excellent. I'll be back. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing, guys? ¿Cómo van con las sentences? ¿Cómo van? How are you doing? Are you done? Or not ¿Ah? yet? Are you done? ¿Ya terminaron con las sentences? ¿O todavía no? Yes. Yes? Ok, go ahead then. ¿Quién me las va a decir? 
Mm-hmm. The first sentence is, uh, you, are you referred to the yesterday? Yeah, the, the question. Okay. okay, the first sentence was, does she work on Monday? Mm -hmm. And the answer, uh, or oh, we change the, the, the question mm -hmm. for, could you tell me, does she work in Monday? On Monday, yes. Sorry, on Monday. Excellent. Can you tell me, does she work on Monday? Or can you tell me if she works on Monday? Perfect. All right. Thank you so much, Joel. All right. I want uh, Gabby to tell me one sentence as well. Hello, Gabby. Okay, no problem. Silvia, are you here? Yes. The uh, sentence do you have a dog? Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Ay, no me acuerdo que puse. Aquí. Could you Ay, teacher. Could you ¿Cómo sería? Si lo quisiéramos hacer de manera polite, ¿cómo podríamos decirlo? Y vamos bien. Could you? Do? Could you do? Could you do? Have a dog? Could you? Y estamos pidiéndole que nos diga. Entonces, ¿cómo podríamos decir? Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. Do you have a dog? Perfect. Could you tell me, do you have a dog? Or could you tell me if you have a dog? Excellent. Oh. Thank you. Now, can you tell me one of the questions, William? Hey, teacher. Um, I have those in this one. Uh, the question is, is your shear red? Uh, it's a direct question. Correct. And the polite and the way polite about about this, could you tell me if your shirt red is? Could you tell me if your shirt is red? So let's ah, okay. in it. Is red, okay. correct. Pero comprendo la lógica de que en las preguntas va al final el verb. Pero sí, en este caso sí es así. Excellent. Thank you so much, William. Perfect. Now that it, yes? Yo ahí le había puesto, could you tell me your t-shirt is red? Uh, no. Your shirt okay. red is? No, sí. it's red. Could you tell me if your shirt is red or could you tell me is your shirt red? ¿Cómo? Perdón. Uh, en red. estos casos, cuando estamos siendo polite, si el verb to be si no va al final. Si ah. lo vamos a decir, could you tell me if your shirt is red? O, ah. could you tell me, is your shirt red? Okay. Excellent. Thanks. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One moment. Ya vengo, ya vengo, ya vengo. Yo sé que acabo de venir, pero I'm sorry. One moment, one moment. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. Uh, pueden seguir practicando. You can keep on practicing or you are free to go. Ahorita que ya hice evaluation. So, uh, como ustedes deciden. Okay? I just want to tell, tell you that. If you want to leave, you can. Y thank you so much. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Of course. Okay. Have a good night, guys. You too. Thank you, thank you teacher. Hello, I see Davine. Okay, guys, are you mm -hmm. done with the question? Yes. Excellent. Okay, you're gonna tell me one each. So, can you tell me the first one, Claudia? The first one is where is Sandra? In this case, is the questions. Uh, indirect is, could you tell me where is Sandra? 
Where Sandra is. Excellent. Could you tell me where Sandra is? Y con el verb to be al final. Excellent. Okay. Perfect, Cloud. Now, Carlos, can you tell me the next one? Okay, let me a moment. I have a problem with my internet. No problem. Do you know what I open the school, right? We, I consider that it's indirect, right? Mm -hmm, correct, and, indirect. And in direct form is what time open the school? What time does the school open? Does the school open? Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Awesome. No se preocupen que mañana vamos a hacer todas las clarifications de todo esto, ¿ok? Para que no queden dudas. Ahorita porque ya queda muy poquito. And let's see. Eh, Lisette, are you here? Where to eat? Is this what you tell me when to eat? Excellent. Perfect. Excellent, guys. You did an amazing job. So guys, eh, como les digo, mañana vamos a hacer todas esas reviews. Estoy viendo como lo que hemos hecho todos para ver qué podemos explicar mañana para quedar súper claros, porque este tema sí es un poquito tricky en ese sentido. But you did an amazing job. Y ahorita, guys, si quieren, se pueden retirar o se pueden quedar practicing estos dos minutos. Whatever you choose. Uh, in any case, have a good night, guys. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello. You? <laughs> Did you finish? Yes. yes. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to give me one sentence, each one question, each. Let's start with Lydia. Can you tell me question number one? Okay. Uh, is he at the park? Okay, uh, let's see. Would you tell me who the part is? Okay, okay. Aquí vamos a decir, could you tell me if he's at the park? Or could you tell me is he at the park? No podemos usar el would. Would you tell me? Oh, would you, would you tell would me? Would you tell me he the part is? No. No. Uh, no. Would you tell me? Uh, is he at the park or would you uh, tell me uh, if he is at the park? Pero entiendo la lógica de que vamos uh, con el verbo al final. Pero yes. sí, en este caso sí. Could you tell me if he's at the park or could you tell me is he at the park? Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Mañana vamos a seguir haciendo esas clarifications. Okay. Okay. What would be your question, Sofia? Uh, do you know where is she? Y quedó where is she? Excellent. Excellent. Do you know where she is? Where is she? Perfect. Where is she? What would be your question, Marcela? Where is the hospital? Could you tell me where the hospital is? Perfect. Awesome. Great. Could you tell me where the hospital is? Mañana vamos a explicar eso. ¿Por qué algunas terminan con el verb y por qué otras no? All right. Ajá, eso tenía la gran duda. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Yes. <laughs> Mañana mismo. Ahorita porque ya se nos fue el tiempo. I just want to see... Katia, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Could you tell me one of Hi. your sentences? Your group, your group didn't come to class today. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, I have one. What color is her hair? And I came for it. Can you tell me what color is her hair? Can you tell me what color is her hair? Yeah. Or could you, yeah, could you tell me what color is her hair? Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. Awesome. So, mañana vamos a ver eso, guys. ¿Por qué algunas sí? ¿Por qué otras no? ¿En qué casos sí? ¿En qué casos no? Ahorita porque ya se nos el tiempo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ahorita sí, sé que es con un gran dolor de cabeza, right? Pero poco a poco le vamos a ir agarrando, le vamos a ir entendiendo. Okay. So, right now, porque vamos to go back to the main room para say goodbye. Y mañana vemos eso, ¿ok? Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, teacher. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, Let's go. Let's go to the. Um, Your microphone is off. Quizás por eso, yeah. Oh my God. Um, okay, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. All right, guys, so we ran out of time, but we will continue tomorrow. Tomorrow vamos a hacer la, um, cl vamos a darle claridad por qué algunos verbs si terminan al final, por qué en algunas oraciones no, en cuáles sí y en cuáles no. Pero era muy necesario hacer este exercise para hacer esa duda, right? Para hacer eso de, ¿y este por qué sí y por qué no? Para que cuando yo les explique sea más fácil de entender y ustedes digan, ah, ok, 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 ok. Ok, so, eso lo vamos a ver. Acaba el, ah, tomorrow. Yo sé que es un poco de un headache ahorita, pero créanme que después se van, después que en el rato de hablar van a decir, ok, this is what sounds good, esto es lo correcto, ya solo por oído. So, guys, that would be all for today. Algunos no les alcancé a escuchar sus sentences. Pero como les digo, vamos a continuar mañana. Y también mañana vamos a hacer el review del midterm test. Porque ya el tema de mañana es bien cortito, de expressing your wishes. So, that would be all for today, guys. Thank you so much to those who shared your sentences, your questions. And see you tomorrow, Friday. Yay! Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.